Hey everybody, it's Tim McCamus out in the shop tonight. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, styles of, of pop type rivets. So a, a rivet with a mandrel in it, a standard rivet like you can buy at a hardware store, uh, what they call just a hollow core body, okay? The mandrel or the, or the nail in the center is just gonna have kind of a, a janky round head on it. And when you, when you pull that up, if you ever popped a rivet like that, that round head is gonna suck up inside here and that swells that barrel out. And then when it gets to a point that it's tight, it pops the head off and you get the mandrel out, okay? With that, a lot of times if you look at that, when you pop them, the, the barrel ends up looking like this. You know, it pulls in whichever direction is the least resistant. So they never pull up straight. So they kind of pull up and then from the backside, they'll look like they're bent over a little bit. So an ABEX type rivet, which is what we use here, it's a lot different design. So the instead of just having a round head, the head on the on the mandrel side is rounded on the bottom, but then it's actually flat cut against the barrel. Okay? So instead of just a, trying to pull a ball up through there, you've got a square cut flat surface. And then the the body of the rivet is um, crimped in such a way that it provides a, a double rolled barrel body when it pulls up tight, okay? So, so imagine like the pop rivet pulling up and then you see this piece and it looks like this. So now we've got this AVEX rivet and then so the first pull of it starts to take the body like this and that makes the first roll and then another pull rolls that down and then the second part of it rolls out like this. So what you end up with is this little cone of barrels, two of them stacked up in a perfect circle, pulling tight against the back of the flange material. Okay, so it's, it's way better than a standard pop rivet. I mean, just a thousand times better. And it, it gives you full contact surface on the back side, and it gives you a nice, clean pop because it's a it's a more expensive rivet. It's not a cheap piece of shit made over in China. It's a nice rivet, okay? It, when it pops off, it leaves that, that little barrel head down inside there so there's no tang or piece sticking up or little sharp edge that you gotta jack with, which is very common in a pop rivet because those things are made by the millions at a time. So it's called an ABEX rivet and it's, it's very, um, very nice for like a finished product because you're gonna get full surface contact around the backside, which means you're gonna get a tighter compression, a square compression. It's not gonna distort the metal when it pulls up. It's gonna pull up square. And you're gonna get a double stack of that barrel. You're gonna have a larger diameter barrel against the metal and then a smaller diameter behind it. So if you, if you pop one out of a panel and look at it, it's really unique how it compresses itself together but then your flange on the outside and your barrel flange on the inside then compress together and give you a nice tight contact area. Highly recommend that for something like this for mounting a hood instead of some cheap ass pop rivet. But um, anyway, uh, I didn't want to get too far off on that, but you need to think about that. There's a lot of technology and fasteners. I mean, we've got lots of fastener videos and stuff, but using the right fastener is just as important as using the right product. So. Um, Think about that when you're when you're doing this. I would suggest uh, grabbing a hundred of those uh, ABEX rivets. Uh, they're not that expensive for the performance that you get out of them. So anyway, these do not get loose. These stay tight. This is going to stay tight for a long, long time. These are very, very good rivets. So ABEX Chinese Limp Dick. Okay, that's all I got.